Greetings, my fellow scuttling kindred. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. In the previous episode, we mostly held our ground, actually. Ultimately, not a whole lot happened. We are w waiting to build up a uh, functioning teleporter network so that we can uh, reinforce our armies over here to the city of Funneled Webs so that we can clear out the infestations, which will allow us to expand that way. But unfortunately, aside from that, we are sort of prevented from making further expansions because of Dinvalton. And Dinvalton, being led by the God Vessel, Zenith the God Vessel, is unfortunately in a strong position due to a bunch of alliances. Who will be automatically called to aid should I attack them. Which means it might be best if I actually attack Tuskheim and attack the Orcs. I don't really want to. I'd rather take the territories here. Tuskheim is a uh, vassal to said orcs. I'm using a Whispering Stone against them to uh, draw a fair bit of uh, resources from them at the moment. I don't think I can do that to... No. You can't do that to actual enemy cities, regrettably. But anyways, we have completed Arcane Bond, which is going to be a spell that we can use on the battlefield to mind control magic origin units, which sounds awesome. And we'll get a new research. We could cause despair. Enemies in a one hex radius have a 90% chance of losing 15 morale. That could be good. We'll only take two turns. Let's do it. Such will be done very quickly. So we have completed our, uh, our fight here. We could trespass and destroy this army. But I'd rather have that army sit there and occupy enemy territory. So we're going to return back to our base. And uh, chill out for a little bit. Meanwhile, we are amassing an ungodly amount of mana. And, yeah. There's not much we can do with it at the moment. We need some more uh, major, you know, spells that we can cast on the battlefield. We could summon some more animal units just to pad out our forces, but we can also do that on the fly quite easily. Um, and these animal units are actually, uh, have a pretty high mana upkeep, so even one of them is going to reduce that by 30. There's the matter of the Shrieker's Tomb, but again, gotta wait for our teleporter, then we're gonna get some troops into there, we're gonna take that, we're gonna colonize it, and we will have the Shrieker's Tomb as well, which will give us yet another wonder under our control. Alright, let's, uh, let's end our turn. Alright, so... New Empire development skill available. What came available here? We have Tireless Marchers. Force March costs 50% mana and inflicts 50% less damage to your units. Ah, interesting. This is one that actually compounds off of uh, one of these. Hmm. That could be good, actually. Ooh. Raising Cities yields a plus 20 gold permanent income. I like that. We're going to be doing some city raising, I think. Only a matter of time. Alright, uh, moving back to here. You know, our teleporter is not too long from now. Or our teleporter will be ready in not too long from now. Two more turns. Looking pretty good here. I could further expand this population. Um, to take some territories up here. The lumber camp I don't really care about. Um, though, if I build a lumber camp there... I can easily replace it with something more useful, but let's actually take the things that are useful first before we do that. 144 Imperium. Like all of these things are just going to speed up the process later. Alright, so we have the Magic Conduit here. I think getting more research is going to be the way. So that'll further increase our magic income and our research? No. Uh, yeah, we'll still increase our magic income by, uh, ten. Or mana, I should say. And then we'll make our way to the, uh, the Tower of Torment, which I'm sure is just an absolutely lovely place. Alright, two more turns to go there. Let's, uh, hold out. And here in the City of the Funneled Webs, not much to be done, so we're gonna sit around, uh, as soon as we get our other armies here, we're gonna take on the Shrieker's Tomb, which will be fun. We'll read out what that is when we actually investigate it. And, uh, how are we doing down here? Not getting uh, plagued by more nefarious armies, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys sit tight for a little while, if you would. All right. Ah, we're one turn away from uh, 
completing the Mage's Guild here. So let's queue up something else. Uh, mint for more gold, probably wise. Yep, it's gonna be a mint. It's gonna take 12 turns. Surely these didn't take as long before. Um, what is causing them to take so long? Also, I think we're gonna replace this with the quarry because we really don't need food here. Right? This only can be replaced with the forester. Uh, well, do it anyways. These all take time? No, they just take three turns, but they don't uh, interfere with your uh, income there. That's good. Here, another farm. We're going to replace that with a uh, forester, I suppose. And we have this farm right here that we are going to replace with a forester, too. Okay. Great. Alright. Well, we have completed Cause Despair, so that's going to help with our Joy Siphoners thing and, uh, you know, just breaking armies early. Now, uh, Mental Mark is okay. Arcane Restoration heals all friendly Magic Origin units, 20 temporary hit points. I mean, that's good. We do use a fair amount of Magic Origin units, like some of our Summoned Spiders, uh, our Watchers and all that. It's probably our best course of action. Just to grab this. Yeah, mental mark we can replicate with, uh, you know, other things. The, the mark is good, but uh, basically all of our armies, barring that one, <laughs> have at least one watcher in them. Do you have a watcher? You have two. So, we should be good there. Now, uh, my outpost has completed its teleporter. Good. City of Funneled Webs has produced a granary, which means we can uh, build something new here. Uh, what shall we build here? Stonemason, extra production income, 15 production. We'll increase the production speed as we go. And uh, one turn away from this teleporter being completed. You guys are all just going to sit around, so uh, we're going to blaze through this next turn as well. Another Empire Development skill has been made available up here. We have Shadow Domain. Your units gain universal camouflage in your domain. That's pretty good. And all of your heroes instantly gain one rank. That's also very good. Uh, so we should probably hold on to our Imperium again. And let our cities expand normally. Now, uh, our teleporter is ready to go, so... Let's uh, get our units over to where they need to go. So, let's move them to the City of Funneled Webs. Bam! They're here now. That's only going to require a uh, Force March. That's fine. I'm going to leave some of my forces up here, of course. Uh -huh. You're going to the City of Funneled Webs. And then if we keep um, Elric's Shadow, uh, Shadow Biter and Sonaric's Curse Weaver here to act as a garrison, though we have plenty of warning if something comes, because we have this watchtower here. I don't know. Um, we can probably move more armies. Could we engage? Begin the war? Let's check the alliances here. Yeah, they're still looking strong. Then, um, yeah, I, I really want to take her out, but I don't want to start fighting all four of them. Especially since suing for peace is uh, going to be very difficult. We are rank four. She is the weakest faction. Korsgul is rank seven. Arcane applications. With crackling noise and a bright blue flash, the chairman of the unbeheld council emerges before your throne. My seer, she exclaims wheezingly, still staggering by excitement. Your proficiency in the arcane is inspiring. We, the unbeheld, look upon your wizardry in awe, and the abundant manna you harness lets us humbly follow your example. Farmers animate their scythes to reap the harvest. Builders make wood and stone light like a feather in the wind. The ease of magic has become omnipresent in our lives. Now we wish to inscribe our humble applications into a tome for all the unbeheld to study. Ooh, I could... Hmm, we would gain... Okay. I concur. All mana shall flow freely. All mana shall flow freely. Yeah, say that five times really fast. Uh, for the unbeheld, we would gain the Mark of Confluence, which would give us plus one astral affinity. Cities of this race gain one stability for each 35 mana in their controller's global mana reserve, up to a maximum of 30. I mean, that's good. Cities of this 
cities of this race generate minus one mana for each population they have. Oh, that's not as good. Uh, the currents of magic are capricious. The council share of mana is all I can spare. We could uh, give them 483 mana with no benefits. The unbeheld mustn't waste my magic wealth for, in for inanities. <laughs> Uh, city stability penalties all around the board, and all three cities gain minus 300 relations with you for 18 turns, and we gain no doom traits. Or this tome of yours could serve a greater purpose. I demand it for myself. We gain 325 knowledge. Should speed up our uh, arcane restoration by one turn. All cities would lose 45 stability for six turns, and all three cities. Oh man. Uh, this kind of sucks. Because our mana situation was really good. I mean, the Astral Affinity is good. We'll get more stability, I guess. But, again, we don't need it. But... I wish I could just quickly see how much population I have. I mean, Mark of the Conflux. It would solve all of our stability problems, at the very least. Let's give it a try. Alright, that's not that bad. Alright. And so, for example, um, this one is now actually in... We're stable. Look at that. So, high stability boosts food and production income. I mean, that, this all might help. And here, we are still unstable. Still a lot more work to be done here, and I think we're probably still unstable down here as well. Alright. Uh, so our subterranean cities are still unstable. But at least our surface cities are doing well. Of course, they have less land um, that they're controlling, so that is undoubtedly helping. But hey, that means our surface cities will benefit potentially from more um, production and food. Does this come in these multi... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's barely anything. Yeah, stability's providing, like, a teeny tiny bit of food and production. But, hey, it's something. Okay, our armies are up here. Let us eradicate these things, whatever they are, with overwhelming force. So. Uh, don't force march. Just, do we have to force march to get them? Surely you don't. There we go. All right. So, these uh, Shrine of Smitings have the uh, the Smiting Prayer Blast. Just single magical attack. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna fight this. Uh, we've seen most of these enemies, I think. I don't know if I've seen uh, this one. I've definitely seen these two. I think I've seen one of these. The, uh, the Shrines. So let's, uh, let's, let's fight it out. Start this episode off with a bit of violence. And we are, of course, fighting over uh, the blood of Archons here, so that's going to influence the map. That's pretty cool. I wonder if this is actually going to matter, do anything. Doesn't seem like it. All right, Melissa Shadowbiter. Finally, good to have you back in the action. Uh, we can start taking pot shots at that thing. Whatever the hell it is. Let's do that. We did a uh, really solid damage there, an entire six damage. Very solid. Okay, let's move our uh, horde of critters up. The spider tide. Everything advances to some degree. And we, of course, have a matriarch, which is very cool. And uh, you pull up here. Warlocks pull up there. Butcher Ogre. Uh, Asha Shadowbiter, you're going to come up through the center. Fire Titan, or giant, I guess. Go summon a pillar thing over there. And uh, let's get our... Uh, Watchers up, and more Warlocks, and Watchers. Yeah, that'll do. Move the Warlocks this way. Let's end turn. And the enemy will uh, do their thing. I'm not overly concerned. Okay, that was painful. That was less painful. Wow, that did destroy my totem. So, so much for that. We should be fine. These things don't do much damage. They're more support units than anything, if I recall correctly. Damn, you, you hit hard. Okay, now you didn't. Your first attack definitely did. 
Okay. Now that they're all nicely clumped up. Uh, how about some... Hold on. Starting with you, let's make sure each of these targets is properly marked. And we can uh, sunder the resistance on that one as well. Let's make sure it takes even more damage. And, uh... Great, that one's also marked. So you're gonna spit up a good old web right there. Nice, they're both immobilized. They both have ranged attack, so it's not that big of a thing. Um, so we could sunder your resistance here. Let's do it. And let's mark you as well with one of these. The other one is going to save its... Wow, it's just dead. Alright, well, sucks to be that guy. As far as you go, we can already start uh, doing some bombardments here. Let's blast this thing. You can hit both of them with your axe. Deal a solid amount of damage. Uh, let's get the Butcher Ogre in there. You're gonna give him a good little whack. I'm not using the uh, the special whack, though. And uh, you just get some damage in. Regular old damage. And let's get our Titan in. You're gonna just go here. It's just a giant. It's not a Titan. And kill that one. Out of range of the other one. And uh, you're gonna advance farther. Not far enough. Okay. And the Scuttling Tide is going to do what it does best, which is scuttle. Look at all of them. With their oh-so-many legs. Uh, any other units that can actually do stuff? I've got a, these hunting spiders. These ones. Those ones. You could heal a unit nearby that does not need healing. Okay. And yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, we do have a spell that we could cast. Uh, I could attempt to cast, uh... Hold on. Can we, uh, do this? Invalid target. This is not a magic origin. It must be a mythic origin. These are magic origin, though, but they're gonna die, so... Not what I need. Um... What else could we do to them? Ice Coffin. It's gonna hit one target. Um... Let's just drop some ice shackles there. Just cause we'll slow them. Control their advance a little. They do quite a lot of damage. I may lose my ogre. It'd be unfortunate, but not the end of the world. It's not exactly a unit that I'm super attached to. All right, well, it's dead. Like they're good, but they're not very thematic for my army. So I don't really care. Uh, that's only gonna hit one target. You can hit that one. Alright, so now that they're here... You kill him. Alright. Now that he's out of the way, you're gonna advance a little. And we need to start getting some work done there. So let's mark this one as prey. Sunder its defenses and distract it, causing all of our shots to hit with flanking. Which is absolutely lovely. Uh, you can dish out a decent amount of pain, although you're better off probably doing a Sundering Curse. Spoiler. Do you go in and kill... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have my Matriarch kill this thing. Surely you can. It lived. Ow. Okay, let's get my Warlocks to do it then. Ah, it's steadfast. It's not gonna die. Alright, uh, well... This has a 99% chance of death, because it can't drop below hit points, but Assassin can surely kill it. <laughs> Steadfast this. Okay, I would like that to die. So let's hit that with the Psychic Gaze, stunned. And the reason why I want it to die is so that uh, Asha Shadowbiter can get in there. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Um, You've already acted. You have not. Great. It's dead. Alright, then Asha Shadowbiter can run in. No, it's fucking steadfast as well. God damn it. Alright, then we've got to do our, uh, our teleporting. Um, can't be affected. We can drop there. We can drop here. Let's get over there then. We'll uh, keep this one company, I suppose. 
You are going to uh, quickly here actually use over channel. Which is going to allow us to hit this one with a mark as well. Just to maximize our damage onto it. Probably should have targeted the other one. Good damage. Very good damage. Uh, psychic Gaze there. And our spiders can start to toss some webs in there. No, they can't. Uh, well, we can always jump in. Very good damage. Solid. You're going to move up. You still technically have an action, so why don't we take that? Uh, hit this one. Good damage. Very good damage. 32, actually. Very solid. And you can jump in. Ah, shit. Can't. All right. Then neither can you. But we've got two more watchers. Can we get this one in close enough to deal damage? With this, we can. Problem is, is it's gonna live. Hmm. Problem. Big problem. That's all that's left. Okay. Yeah, I should have uh, sent uh, Asha Shadowbiter to deal with that one. I just wanted to tie this one down. But, uh... Everything's stunned, so never mind. I think everything's okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's get to the killing, then. You die. And it's back. Is it? I don't know. It, it it became a martyr. That thing's dead. So they deal damage to you um, after... Uh, after taking... Uh, after getting killed, it would seem. Okay. Damage in here. It's really not much. Probably... Uh, mark it again. Not in range? Okay. Alright, we can definitely get more damage in. You can go there. You need to move up to there. It's fine. It'll only do one shot, but every little bit counts. It's really not much, to be perfectly fair. You do a lot of damage to them, though, right? That's decent. Can we hit you from there? No. So, advance and hold. Same thing with you, I guess. We also can't uh, hit them from there, but we'll be able to hit them next turn if they're still alive. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, so before allies come in, let's tag this with the uh, big ol' hit there, and then the spider should get him. All right, it's dead. Great. Nice. All right, we lost our ogre, and all of this is going to go to the city of Funneled Web. So that's a healthy amount of gold and mana for our empire. And that unit is gone from this earth. So we could immediately expand to claim this territory. Otherwise, it's going to take nine turns. Giving it to us would grant us, this is Archon's Blood, plus 20 combat casting bonus and 20 more magic income. It's not crucial. We'll be fine without it for now. And we're going to deal with that. That should be an easier army. We've got uh, Phase Beasts, a.k.a. Displacer Beasts, and a bunch of units that we've fought before. Um, these aren't, like, all that special to fight, so I'll probably auto-resolve that one. We can make another improvement uh, here. We got the stonemason going. We could queue up. What could we queue up? I would like to queue up a stronghold, so I'm going to wait on that. Because I want to be able to recruit tier 3 units from there. We can bring in knights. Sorry, uh, knigets. Got to pronounce it right. Alright. You basically can't move much. You're just going to hold out here. Can you move past? No. Uh, it's good. Let's, uh, let's end our turn. Alright, the Overlord's Tower has been produced in the Spinner's Nest. So we need to queue up another uh, construction here. We don't need the mana income at the moment. We don't need the Interrogation Dungeon. We don't really need much of any of this. Uh, actually, the Academy is probably the best course of action. Wizard's Tower, Room of Recall. Minus one turn to respawn ruler. Ruler responds with full hit points. Gain access to recall ruler spell, which allows your ruler and its army to be teleported back to your throne city. Uh, that's kind of cool. Wizard's Tower channeling chamber. Plus ten to world map casting points and combat casting points. Uh, that's also good, but not what we need at the moment. 
So, a summoning well. I mean, all of these things are... Oh, we could start to make the seeds. Nature research costs minus 20% knowledge required for the magic victory. Once built, we'll reveal its location to all other empires. I don't know if I want to do that here. I would do that up top, where it's more likely to be visible anyways. Uh, a dark forge. Drafted gold? Or teleporter? Um, we already have a teleporter right nearby, so I don't need that. Um, you know, this is 179 gold. It's going to take a couple of turns to complete. We're going to make a blacksmith for extra draft, because that would unlock an armory, which will do what now? 30 draft in the smith guild. Do draft per draft and food per forager? Not useful to me. Arcane battlements doesn't really do anything for me either. I mean, it will defend the city, of course. Calthrops, I'm just looking to see what might get unlocked here. Uh, the Ritual Mausoleum. All of this is going to get extra mana, which we don't need. The Estate Hall I also don't need. Monolith could recruit... Um, could bring out the Mage's Guild. And that would bring a lot of extra mana onto the table. Let's just build stone walls. I think it'll be good to have the city be well defended against uh, hostiles. Uh, as for Donartur, you're still under construction. Or things are still under construction in Donartur. But here in the City of Funneled Webs, are we done with anything here? The Stonemason is one turn away. And I'll tell you what, I think I'm just gonna... Hmm. Oh, shell out for something else. Experimentation Chambers. For the Tower of True Sight. Revealed camouflaged enemies. Probably just in its domain, but I'm not sure. Ah, we can actually expand it already. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would like to take this, uh, the Archon's Blood. And while it is useful, I think we need to actually rush to secure these territories. And once I have these two, we can freely take those. So we're going to wait on that, and I'm going to actually build this farm here. Yes, I do. We don't care about pissing her off. Um, the Estate Hall. Okay, I got one farm. I need a second one in order to uh, craft... That. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in this congested region. Because technically we can build a farm there. You know what? I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, we got our second farm. Uh, let's queue up the estate hall. Extra food income. That will allow us to take these three quickly. And I believe that is all of our uh, construction that we can do right now. You're hanging out. And my armies are going to go up and smite this group of whatever the hell they are. Phase creatures of some kind. Automatic combat. It's giving me a pretty good result. Not as good as I would expect, but we'll see if I lose any units. No, I do not. So I'm going to keep this result. It's good enough. We will kill them and eat them. All for the good of the cause. Alright. You can head back. I'm going to drop my uh, wild speaker unit in your army. Except I'm not, because we don't have the movement for it. So, all of you guys can start moving back as well. Spells ready to launch, same as before. We have nothing new on the line. We're one turn away from that, though, so let's hasten that process. Okay, so we need to try and basically extricate Zenith the God Vessel from her allies. So, I think the best way to do that... Um... Is this uh, between Zenith and Leofric? That is a strong alliance. That is a strong alliance. That is a strong alliance. And that is a strong alliance. I wanted to denounce her. Um, denouncing a ruler using fabricated grievances uh, will cause them to have a grievance against you. Um, see, that might, like, sour the relations, right? She has insulted my empire. Let's just give it a try. See if that's going to actually, like, make a difference. It's not right now, but maybe it'll make a difference later. So otherwise, I don't know how we're going to break this uh, alliance block. Arcane Restoration is done. Let's assign some new research here. Um, Conjure Astral Keeper. I do want those. Um, yeah. 
What do they have? Lightning Blast. That's a bit of damage. And then the Astral Blessing is a heal, temporary hit points, and grant static charge. It's kind of cool. Might be good to get. Um, and then Prelude to Doom is target army gains two demoralized. One turn on the game map. I'm going to lock this and I'm going to research Prelude to Doom. We'll get the Astral Keeper next turn, probably. I mean, for sure, but in case there's something better, then we can lock it again as well. Ooh, look at this. Rally of the Legions. We could get another Fire Giant for uh, a lot of gold. We get a Blessed Stole. What are these? It's a Tier 3 unit. Doesn't look like something we would want. All this stuff with, uh, you know, Beacon of Hope and all that. We, we, don't, we don't do that kind of stuff. We get that from the Desecrated Temple, of course. Um, just so you're aware of where that's coming from. Eventually, we're just going to have to attack her. It'll put us into war with everyone else. All of the uh, allies, but, like, if you look at all of them, they're already at war with multiple factions. So, basically, it'll sort of be like Team Evil on its own, isolated against all of the allies. Maybe I just need to... Do it. We'll just do it. I don't know. I want to take this this tomb, Shrieker's tomb, but we got to wait until we have enough population, which is going to take nine turns, then we can annex it. Right now it's still being guarded, so these, these guys aren't going to take it, but if I take it and clear it out, then I think they can, these vassals. And I thought about attacking them, but... I'm not going to attack the orcs. They're literally the only faction that doesn't dislike me. So, I think it's a bad idea to uh, piss them off. But let's get our forces amassed right here. And I think we're going to need to advance on Dinvalton here and destroy the uh, destroy Zenith quickly. So we can declare war on her. Fairly easily. Um, no, I have an unjust war right now, actually. Right? Declare war without justification. Then uh, I could fabricate some grievances. Cost me 300 gold, though. It's very expensive to do this. So I'll hold back. I could just declare war without justification. I mean, we're spiders. What do you expect from us? Do we need a real justification? Do we need to play some long political game? I think we just kill them and eat them. Problem solved. No politicking involved. Sure, it might piss off the others, but they're pretty far south from us. Well, not you. Um, but I'm confident in my ability to defeat you. You're rank four. What am I? In the grand scheme of things, I'm rank three. So, I'm, I'm slightly more powerful than them. Only slightly. We have teleporters in places, so... We can quickly reorganize and move our troops around. Which is very good. So, in case we uh, have to rapidly return and defend one of our territories, we can do so. We're not going to build seeds yet. Not until we've removed several of our adversaries from the uh, the field. Then we might aim for this magic victory. Though, just a straight domination victory could be fun as well. Just crush all of the enemy empires. Maybe ally with one or two of them, if possible. Though, alliances with them seems like it's going to be difficult. All right, let's, let's end our turn. All right. To make sure that we aren't going to say, I don't know, get backstabbed or anything... Um, I think I am going to uh, forgive this transgression. This counts as an act of good. Nah, fuck that. Never mind. We're not forgiving any transgressions. Um, but with Brick's Heart Eater, we might be able to settle some transgressions in other ways. So we can settle some grievances. Um, they have a grievance here that I could buy off for 250 priced. Um, whereas I could sell these for 50 each make that a total of 100. Is that worth it to me? I don't think so. She's fighting a bunch of wars. If she declares war on me now, not going to be her smartest move. Okay. 
So we're going to advance our forces. Uh, let's move here, and then I will immediately have you pathfind a road that the rest of them can follow. We will advance with our entire stack of doom and make for Dinvelton. They have many armies here, more than we have. They will outnumber us, but what do they have unit-wise? They do have some tier 3 units. She's leveled up to level 6 now. But is that their only hero? No, they have another hero, a level 5 hero, but like this is all tier 1 and 2 units for the most part. Which will be pretty easy for us to deal with. My concern is while I'm besieging there, that uh, I'm going to get like stabbed in the back by the, by the damn cats. Should be very unfortunate. So I can conjure armies basically out of thin air with relative ease. Let's uh, get a uh, Dread Spire ready here. And man, hurrying production even for two turns, it takes forever. We could recruit some units, though I don't like anything that we can recruit here. So I'm probably better off recruiting from this territory, where I can at least recruit Night Guard and Warlocks. All that's fairly expensive, unfortunately. Doesn't seem like my Forge is actually providing faction-wide recruitment reduction. So maybe that's not what it does. It would be kind of unfortunate, but uh, can we teleport from here? We should have a teleporter. Why can you not? Can you only teleport two outposts? No, ah, uh, wait, what? Ah, okay, like so. Interesting. Uh, so you can jump up to Arachna's Vale. Do it. Okay. So we have this little force up here is going to hang out with uh, Elric up there and uh, be ready for hostiles when we make our move. Because we are definitely making our move at this point. So, Is there an enemy army to scry anywhere that we can see? No. I could move my archer a little bit closer to their territory. Like, we have the, the watchtower here, so that's going to continue providing its... Wow, that didn't help at all. All right. Okay, Leofric and Mustafa have declared an oath of friendship. Which is something we don't do. Because friendship is lame. Why have friends when you could have meal for your thousands and thousands and millions of spiders? Yeah! We prepare. They might know we're coming. I'm hoping it'll just be too late by the time we get here. Um, I'm gonna look through, make sure all of our cities are undergoing production of some kind. Three turns left. We could queue something else up. Here, I don't know if we need to though. This this territory is kind of, it's basically just providing us uh, money and stuff. Yeah, okay, and the uh, Arachna's Veil, it's got a couple turns left. On its construction, of course, the uh, the Dark Fortress, the next one. And then here, the Estate Hall has five more turns for its production. Okay. Um, so I do want to get some, some intel here. Uh, what do you got? You got Lightning Evocation? You have a Spider Egg? What is this? You can't have that. And uh, Cloud in a Bottle. All right. Interesting little bits of uh, equipment you got there. Experienced leader. Yeah. Oh, she got expert sailors. For some reason, her faction did. Uh, there's no water on this map, so... I may question why you got expert sailors. I hope there's a naval update for this game, because the naval uh, stuff is pretty bare bones, unfortunately. Okay, she's moving. What's she doing there? You're moving to another city, huh? Ooh, they all are. Ooh... This is interesting. We can pick them off outside of their castle. Confront them in a big old battle. So they're they're moving in force. We're gonna move in force too and take them out. So they're, they're exposed. They're they're coming for Blade Hollow. I'm sure of it. She's trying to make her push. Ooh, or is she coming to confront me? 
I think she's actually coming to confront me. So we could go and raid up there, but... Nah, I'm not going to do that. What I will do is move you in here. Yeah, we're going to trespass. Flare war. They're allies. Wait, none? Excuse me? Ah, well, no. Apparently, that is not none. Well, now we're at war with everyone. It's time. Everyone has their limits, even those who aim for peace. And you have just crossed the line, seer. Prepare for battle. You have been a thorn in my side long enough, seer. Prepare for war. Yeah, he says the same thing. All right, well, war it is. Reload of Doom is done. So let's get some new research going on here. Oh, we can unlock a new tome, a tier four tome. The Tome of Paradise. Uh, if these are all spider-related abilities, I would agree that this is the Tome of Paradise, but these are not spider-related abilities, so this isn't any kind of paradise that I want. Tome of Nature's Wrath. Constructive Regrowth. Awaken Instincts. It's a big ol' heal. Um, it's a big ol' heal. Heals all of your units. Of what? All your units heal 15 temporary hit points, regain all actions, and go berserk for two turns. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Devolve. Uh, has a 90% chance of... Or target non-hero unit has a 90% chance of being turned into a tier 1 animal if resisted it's stunned instead. That's pretty good. Uh, we can just summon forests. These. And uh, we can summon armies of animals and plants. From forests. That's cool. Maybe. Tome of Teleportation would get us a phase beast. It's not a phase spider, so I'm not interested. But these are still tier 3 tomes, but we have tier 4 tomes available. Is it only nature? Oh, it's gonna influence the tier of tomes that we get? Why can we get a tier 4 nature tome, but not from any of the others? Interesting. Uh, Tyrant Knight? Why is it riding a... Sp oh, because we just ride spiders. Uh, Final Alter... Mm -hmm. Mm, subjugating raid. Baron's palace. Twenty-five gold income. All of our units we gain intimidating aura. Hold on, tome of subjugation. Can we get an order tome. Maybe. Certainly not that one. Not terramancy. Not transmutation. Probably nah. Pandemonium would get us the chaos eater, which I do kind of like. Tome of devastation. No. Now, you know what? I like this Nature's Wrath thing. Let's get it. Nature is the leaf upon the wind. Well, there's destructive regrowth. Target province is destroyed and turned into a forest. A tempest, rending the land asunder. The mighty maelstrom tearing apart stone and flesh alike. Nature can be cruel, unforgiving, powerful. Harness it. And you will command the primal energies that leave lesser beings quaking in terror. Okay, so I think I want destructive regrowth. So we're gonna um, lock the astral keeper, and we're gonna start researching destructive regrowth because that's gonna be fun. We've unlocked the root of nature province improvement. Is that so? What does that give us, actually? The root of nature, huh? Root of nature. Costs a lot of money. Nature spells are 20% cheaper to cast. Grants nature affinity. Nature buff and healing spells heal temp temporary hit points and required for the magic affinity. Wait. It requires... I imagine it requires the seed of nature? How does this magic event or the magic victory work? We'll, we'll look at it later. What's going on here? Why is my uh, Imperium red? We have a massive decrease in uh, the upkeep. Unit upkeep declared an extremely unjustified war. Oops. Look. No one likes me because of that. But we're going to crush this group of armies. We're going to move in there. We're going to move in here. We're going to move in here. And... Yeah, let's 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 kill them. Kill them all. What the hell happened there? Excuse me. Just one moment. 
game? Where'd you just send me? And why? Can I actually click on my army? That would be great. Alright. <laughs> Pull in here, and uh... Surely somebody's in range. Yes, indeed they are. Well, we could attempt to cast some spells on the enemies. We could do a Prelude of Doom immediately on one of the enemy armies. I mean, we may as well. Let's cast it there. So that one suffered a Prelude of Doom. We could even do it again. Which we could drop on that enemy army. Lovely. So two of the enemy armies are going to suffer from Prelude of Doom. We could... Can we cast it for third time? 60. We cannot. So no point in keeping it for later. I mean, unless we want to save it for later. We could do. Mm -hmm. But, uh, let's engage. Big old manual combat. Let's try and wipe out this entire enemy force. Our first battle against another civilization. Zenith the God Vessel. We have been, uh, pushing borders against each other for quite some time. Mostly it's been me pushing against you, actually. But, uh, you know, we're fighting an unjustified war here. Pure evil. They may have numbers, but our forces are far more elite. Hopefully we can do this with minimal casualties. That's, uh, what I'm hoping. So, actually, how far can... We can actually advance quite far with some of our units. The problem is, is I don't want them to get too close to me. Okay, they're not going to get that close. You can advance one farther. You're a caster, so you shouldn't. You guys are also casters. Hold there. Get behind. Here. Yes. Good. Warlocks. We have no melee units on this side, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. So what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do is actually uh, march the majority of my army in this direction so we can engage one flank at a time. go for a uh, full flank overload. It's usually a good way to deal with a uh, numerically superior army is uh, make sure that their numbers don't count for quite as much. Ours won't count for as much either, mind you, but uh, that's okay. I'm willing to uh, accept that. Anything we can do here? We can't cast yet, so that's okay. And I think we're going to start casting totems. We're going to bring down some totems uh, to summon some more animals. All of our units will enter defensive mode, so they should now advance. Uh, let's speed things up a little. Okay, they're all pulling up. They're going to cut me off on this side. We're not going to be able to get away from them. I, well, actually, we might. The problem is, is they didn't advance towards me, so I do actually have to dictate the terms of this engagement, which I'm okay with. The only issue is let's make sure we don't end up... triggering it before we're ready. Good. That's, we might take some shots. The matriarch might get shot at. That's okay. She might get shot at. That's also fine. Pull everything up. If they want to come in in melee, they're going to eat a whole lot of magic, and they're not going to like it, probably. I don't know. Maybe they like this sort of thing, but I doubt it. Okay. You can advance. I don't mind if he gets charged. Uh, he's going to advance and conjure a uh, totem right here. Uh, actually, put it there, just to slow the enemy down on that side. Cover our flank a little. Uh, our hell pigs are gonna advance. <laughs> I'm always with the fucking hell pigs. <laughs> okay, pull back here a little. And, uh, why don't you juice up the hell pigs? I wanted to juice up the spider, but couldn't see it for some reason. Pull this way. Spiders advance into the woods here. You advance there. Spiders there. Pull these back. And worm. You go there. Okay, so. Um, what we could do is do a totem on our flank as well. So we'll, we'll drop another totem here, because this thing's just going to be obnoxious. And create a whole swath of annoying units for them to deal with. That should be good. Let's see what they do. They've got to engage, because otherwise I'm going to unleash all manner of pain upon them.
Well, they didn't engage me, uh, which is interesting. So, uh, here, have some plague. Do you think they liked it? God damn it. They're, they're really being kind of chicken shit here, which, uh, makes sense. They can't retreat forever. See, that puts me in the danger zone. That also puts him in the danger zone. So, pull back one. You're not gonna be able to shoot this turn, unfortunately. You can. Yeah. Can you? No, you can't. God damn. Alright, uh, you pull back one as well. We're gonna advance with the Titan. I don't really mind if that is gonna end up, uh... Getting charged. We can also charge in with, uh... Oh, he's gonna do a lot of damage. Gee, actually. Um, possibly even more damage if we drop a Baneful Curse. Right in their midst. Strip away all those buffs. And then he can charge, or she can charge in and dish out some serious pain onto these units. Oh, yeah. Good hit. Okay. Hell pigs are going to advance as well. Warlocks can get some... No, they cannot. All right. All right. You can go there. That'll send you over the burning ground, though, which I prefer not to do. Move this way. We'll, we'll keep our back line, like, as a proper back line. You are going to go and just protect here. They're going to get attacked. Let's move back one. Delay this engagement as long as possible. That is not delaying the engagement. Turn around two. And uh, I'm going to put my spider right here. To turn, it, turn it around. Because uh, what I want to do is... Uh, because they're going to come here. They're going to try and flank me. But I'm going to be ready for them with like a million webs. And if all goes well, they won't like that, probably. So, what we could do is over-channel right now and get another turn, or we can attempt to do this to give another unit a turn, which we could do on the spider. What's the uh, range on your web here? Hold on, move up to here. Screw it. We're doing it this way. This, this could be pretty clutch. Ah, but now I can't get him with it. God damn it. All right, over-channel it is. Because I would like to cast another Beast Totem. Right behind this one. So, we're just going to have random Tier 1 summons bog down the enemy army that's approaching from the flank. While our main force converges on this group and wipes them out. This is also where uh, all of their heroes except for Zenith is. Or at least, uh, do they only have... Yeah, they have two heroes here. Cedric the Arrowhead and... Uh, no, these are scouts. Never mind. Just, just Cedric the Arrowhead's force, which we will destroy. All right. Ending turn. Okay, let's see what they do. They're bolstering their defenses again, that's fine. We can use Bane. The, uh, the Bane curse. Uh, what's going on? They're just turtling up, basically. Okay. That removed the burning in my territory, so uh, thanks, I guess. This thing just causes burn where, where it walks, I think. Oh, it blows things back. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so... Their heroes are going to be out of position. Because they're trying to get in these big AoEs, which is going to not work out too well for them. Admittedly, they did some damage. But... This is all damage I'm willing to suffer. He's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. I keep calling him a... Calling her a him. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Our fire totem is down. That's fine. Okay, they are pulling in now. They are aggressively advancing. Attacking my totems. Okay. Alright, now it's our turn. It's time for the reckoning. Well, one enemy unit just died. Oh boy. Getting some frame rate issues. Um, Alright. 
Get him with a good web there. Nice. Three units immobilized. Awesome. So now we can start the uh, Astral Bombardment. I don't know if we need to do it there, though. We could hit you really hard with a uh, club. No, we can't, because you're immobilized, apparently. No, you're stunned. Even worse. Okay, what about webs here? Then with a web? Like, it's not doing enough, unfortunately. Uh, what about here? You can hit him with the web there? Good, do it. Ah, it's not immobilizing them. That's uh, being very obnoxious. They're able to do that. Wow. Our webs are failing. But, uh... We'll at least kill that unit. So, that's one dead. Um, these hell pigs can advance... Charge... Zenith. So we can probably kill Zenith. Uh, we've got some Grimbeat Crows here. They can attack her as well. Down she goes. Killed by Crows. Sucks to be you. So much for, you know, a god. Alright, let's get our Hell Pigs. They're gonna do a flanking attack. Right here, I'm saving my ranged, because, uh... I'm saving some of my range. I'm not saving all of it, admittedly. But I'm definitely saving some. Uh... Man, I would like to make a, uh... Push through here? Hold on. Let's, first things first, drop a Baneful Curse right here on these three, because they're nicely lined up. First off, uh, what's the chance of you successfully assassinating this unit? Doesn't even allow me to, uh, say it. Oh, are you immobilized? Or something. For some reason I can't attack there. Um... Okay, well, you can at least kill these spiders. That was a lot of damage. Alright, and then you can turn around and hit them. That's going to create a, uh, a fire wave there, though. Or we could blink in here. Do it. And then hit them in this line. Oh my god, this is so awesome. <laughs> this is so fucking deadly. <laughs> Dealt an unfathomable amount of damage. Alright, uh... <laughs> okay. Hit him with a mark. And then we can just kill him with that. Straight up dead. Awesome. Okay, you can advance here. No, you can't. Um, so we need to move uh, Shadow Biter up. Let's get her two turns. Uh, Weaver will refresh all of our cooldowns and once per combat abilities. We don't need that. Well, I mean, we could. It's good, for sure. Uh, what can we kill here? Nothing, unfortunately. Could just get some damage in, though. Any target. Let's get damage in there, and then they should die from the fire. The Inquisitors. That's the higher tier unit. And, uh... Sundering Curse? No. You, we can give you, uh, we can give one of our units an extra action. We can pull in our worms. So... Let's actually get our worms in there. Good. Defensive mode has been removed. I'm gonna have her pull up... ...to there. Slightly risky. You have taken some damage. You can get some good damage in there. You can get mediocre damage. Like, all of our flanks are protected at the very least. So, I want to kill this hero. Heroes are the uh, the dangerous ones, so we can probably just kill him with uh, our Warlocks here. Drop a uh, Sundering Curse. Should be doing my Curses first, to be fair. But, uh... Oh, you have Steadfast. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to actually be able to kill you, unfortunately. Okay. Well, we could attempt to stun him while he's Steadfast. Let's just do that. He's stunned. All right. Costed me that ability, but that's okay. Um, Warlock, Sundering Curse. Uh, we could finish off these Bannermen, but... Uh, there's like four units of them here. Let's actually Sundering Curse these Inquisitors. That is a more dangerous unit to my army. Any more Watchers? We've got this one here. We could hit them with a... Uh, no, we can't. Okay. I lied. All we can do is hit that unit, as is. Okay. Uh, pull up here. A slightly better position. We're not going to get a slightly better position, because now I can't do that. can't do what I wanted to do. Pull up here. Um, just 
get some damage in. We can kill these Inquisitors to be sure. I think they'll die from fire, but I'm not positive. So let's just get them out of here. It's going to further... Oh, wow. No, we killed them all. All right, they're fleeing. Holy shit. So our morale, that actually worked. That's really cool. I'm really glad that worked as well as it did. Get a psychic gaze on there. We're going to inflict as much damage on this army as possible. So I want, uh, I want everything to die. The less men we have to deal with later, the better. Because they're going to be able to potentially retreat back into a fortified position. And I only want to be able to... I only want to have to siege that city with one army. Then I can keep the rest of my three armies near my teleporter. And uh, bring them out as needed. Okay, uh, do we have anything else to do? Don't think so. So, they're fleeing. Run into the hills. Some of them are going get to get away, unfortunately. But uh, plenty of them aren't. Wow. Uh, stuff died. I don't know if I've lost anything. It's it's hard to keep track. <laughs> Hell pigs go in there, kill those. They're a summoned unit, but, you know, it's okay. We'll kill them anyways. Because I think even summoned units count towards uh, us uh, feasting. Which there are plenty of things to feast on here, so... Okay, worm. We go up that way. No, just just eat them. Okay, good. Sonarix, you can pull up this way. See if we can't. Uh... Oh, those are pigs. Those are not Sonarix. Whoopsies. You pull. Why are you so inaccurate? Are you blinded? Something's wrong with her. She's clearly incapable of hitting targets. Uh, whatever. Kill them anyways. Good. All right. Spiders. Or vampire spider hatchlings. Target them. Another one down. You're gonna go this way. Jump over them. And attack them from behind. Very good. You can uh, pull up there and deliver some more pain. We can completely surround them. Not quite completely, but mostly. Alright. That unit is not having a very fun time. As for you guys, uh, let's see here. We can blast some of these guys down. We can't get some stuns. That one, unfortunately, was not stunned. Uh, you can land here. First off, we can assassinate this unit, I think. 70% chance. Let's give it a try. Good, they're dead. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. And then deliver a good old whack right there. Very good. Meanwhile, Lightning Evocation will hit all of them. By a bit. Do it. Nice. Advance to just where you can target. Get a reasonable target. Okay, I think we have to advance all the way. And then get a shot off there. Solid. Spider can charge in. Can theoretically pick that unit off. Or we can go this way. Jump over. Land next to that unit. And theoretically pick them off. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I can always blast them with magic just to make sure they die. No survivors. Psychic A's here. You have to advance, so do it. Good hit. Um, you have to advance as well. Pull up to here to get the 85%. Giant. Unfortunately, isn't going to get there in time, so summon a uh, totem right there. Just right behind them. Be obnoxious. You're not going to catch them either, so... Oh, fuck, that's a Watcher. Okay. Uh, well, good chance we kill that, at the very least. Or not. Alright, spiders. This is what I wanted to do. I thought I was clicking on the spiders, because you guys can jump in here, catch these uh, archers, kill some enemies in that unit, and you're going to continue the chase here and hopefully kill that one. Nope, you missed. What about you? Surely you can do it. Good. One down. Alright. And these two... That'll kill that one. So at least that one isn't going anywhere. And the other one's gonna be slowed. Not that that's gonna matter too much. Alright, well, let's let them continue attempting to flee. Okay, it looks like one's gonna get away. These three, I don't think, are gonna make it. That one will. 
So it seems like when you're fleeing... Well, I, I was about to say, it seems like when you're fleeing, you don't trigger opportunity attacks, but that just proved me wrong right there. Um, die? Good. Problem solved. Now, as for these jerks, kill them with the hell pigs. Very good. More enemies to feast on after this battle. You can uh, jump in here, get some damage in. Lots of damage in. Hopefully our final unit that's here can finish them off. Should do. Yeah, indeed. Crows will get them. That's an archer unit dead. I think that one's going to get away, unfortunately. Unless we can get our... Uh... Yeah, no. We're not going to catch them. Hold on. Well, I mean... Give me just a second here. Because actually... Bird of action. <laughs> Hold on. Just one moment. Psychic gaze, can we get a stun? It's stunned. <laughs> no escape. <laughs> um, pull everything up. Uh, I don't need to move everything. Just, just enough. Arranged units should do the trick. A jumpy spiders might help, but... Great. End turn. There's nothing... Hold on. Before we do that, there's nothing else here. Everything else here is already gone or dead? Yes. Great. End turn. Yep, you're stuck. Uh, let me tell you, you're not going to have a very good time with what's about to happen. Some damage in there. We can pull here and get some damage in. You can shoot them from a distance, though. Unlikely to hit. What about with the... Uh, no, also unlikely to hit. Okay, well, may as well try. They missed. Okay, well, hell pigs in. Good damage. Grimby crows are gonna move to the other side. Get some damage in. Good, and the spiders hopefully will get the kill. Awesome. As it should be. That's it. The enemy is dead. We have defeated Zenith, the god vessel's entire army. One unit escaped. That's it. One unit of archers got away. Everything else is dead. And we lost nothing. <laughs> oh, man. That's uh, fairly crippling. They still have basically a, a teeny skeleton force left. But what's that going to accomplish realistically? Because uh, we're going to send in our uh, our new spiky pig to go and chase them down, which is going to trigger an auto combat. <laughs> All right, we'll finish them. And they are dead. Wonderful. All right. Crushing victory. Got a lot of money out of that. I think we should queue up a tier 3 stronghold with that cash. Let's get that going. And, uh... Yeah, they've got one unit in Dinvalton. Can we pillage here? I don't think a... Yeah, scouts can pillage. Let's do it. We'll take two turns. Uh, we may as well get you to pillage this conduit. We'll pillage with pigs. Oh my god, the pigs are everywhere. Our pigs will blot out the sun. <laughs> Ah, uh, it feels good to uh, commit glorious violence against the enemy. So, as far as this, I'm going to withdraw my forces. You are going to uh, hang back here in the watchtower for now. We'll watch the enemies and see what they do. And we will take Dinvalton. I think... Do I take it? I could just take it. It might be beneficial if I actually just take the city. I would need to be able to afford another city. With that, which cost me 500 Imperium, which is no way I can afford. But what I could potentially do is release Donartur as a vassal. And take Dinvalton, because Dinvalton's a 20-slot city. Which is pretty massive. It's got all kinds of stuff everywhere. Including a teleporter. It seems like kind of a waste to throw all that away by raising it. As much as I want to raise it. Seizing it for myself might be better. We'll make that decision when we have to. All right, we've got a couple of level ups to do. Uh, we're level 14 here. Uh, you are an absolute destroyer of worlds. I am going to give you defense because you did take a lot of damage in that fight. For you to take less damage in future fights. And uh, Malisa has leveled up. She is now level 10. Fantastic. Uh, she is our caster hero. So we can get summon undead. Summons three random 
tier 1 undead units, just as a, another roadblock. Or we can summon an elemental. Tier 3 elemental unit? A little bit more of a powerful unit. Um, or mass rejuvenation is okay. It's a full action. All these are full action casts. Uh, with Reckless Rage. We don't do melee. Um... I'm gonna take the summon undead, actually. Get some extra shadow affinity. And uh, extra casting capabilities. Wisp familiar. Hold on, what? Start combat with an astral wisp. There's a battle mage ethereal unit. It's a tier one unit that can do some cosmic bolts. That's really cool. It's like that. Is it any good? I don't know. It's an extra, you know, cannon fodder, which is kind of how we play. <laughs> Inundate them in chaff and then slaughter them with our actually... Slaughter them mostly with our watchers, to be fair. And our spiders. So, we have collected your remains. Uh, we can sell them. For money. I do need money. I always need money. Let's let's do it. So, we'll sell their remains. And uh, Zenith the God Vessel is withdrawn to the Astral Void. Ooh, other rulers are breaking their alliances. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, Good. Leofric and uh, Mustafa have broken their alliance. Fantastic. And Mustafa and Virenwe have also broken their alliance. Awesome. Treaty has been broken. My treaty bond... My wizard bond with Mustafa is also broken. Yeah, that's to be expected since we went to war. And uh, Mustafa and Rajar have also broken their alliances. And my alignment is pure evil. Just as it should be. And my Open Borders Treaty with Mustafa has ended as well. Look, that's on him. He didn't need to join this war. He could have broken the alliance with Zenith. And our units here are going to uh, chill out for the time being. Uh, guard. Because right now, pressing our attack we with just this against the, the cat people is going to be very dangerous. And I'd rather take Dinvalton. I'd rather devote my forces up to here. So we're going to just hold that territory. I don't even know if they're aware of us. I'm sure they're aware of us, but they probably don't know exactly where we are. Which is, uh, good. Alright. Well. That was pretty awesome. And, uh... Yeah, let's... Let's, uh... Actually, I think we're going to end the episode here. Because, uh, I need to eat dinner. It's getting late. And I think that was a pretty long battle, so... This might be a slightly shorter episode than usual, but uh, bear with me. Also, bear with me in case there is a dearth in episodes in the uh, upcoming week. Don't worry, I haven't, I haven't abandoned this uh, campaign at all. I'm absolutely going to see this through to the end. Um, it's just, uh, as I said in previous episodes, I will be going on vacation. So, all of these ones are just kind of being time to be released while I'm on vacation. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to upload quite enough. To uh, completely cover that gap. So uh, my apologies for that. Uh, you will have to wait a little bit of time. Um, but rest assured, it will be back and glorious. And as soon as we're done with this campaign, we will move straight into another one. Because I love this game. And it seems like you guys are liking my playthroughs of it. We will uh, be about maybe amping up the narrative aspect of it. Maybe uh, more regular little uh, narrative events uh, that I can write up. Because I'll have a bit more time. Uh, and be a bit less uh, stressed out with uh, <laughs> trying to uh, maintain an upload schedule before a vacation to uh, actually work on that. So, um, I'm a, an author, after all, um, in case you guys aren't already aware. So, I do like writing things, uh, particularly narrative things. I love world building, so I think what I might do uh, for a future campaign is actually uh, delve a little bit more into the world. For this one, it makes sense. We're basically, we live underground. We have no idea what's going on on the surface. Uh, we're blind. We're completely under the thrall of a terrible spider god. Do we really know what's going on? No, we're just going around and eating people, and that's about it. We have no friends, except for the spiders and the watchers. And uh, that's just how we play. All right, everybody. Stay tuned for uh, the next episode, whenever that might be. Probably in uh, three or four days from when this one comes out, I would guess. And uh, leave this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Heritor out.